Welcome to WDD's Hotspot. I'm Mike Luciano, Associate Editor, and in this week's episode we have a clock that uses magnetic liquid to show the time, DARPA developing small autonomous systems, and spreading the IoT with electronic stickers. This clock uses a magnetic liquid called ferrofluid as a display to tell the time. Ferrofluid is a liquid made up of small magnetic particles and is used in the device known as the ferrolic clock. This device tells time with the fluid by utilizing powerful electromagnets to form distinct shapes. The ferrofluid's natural dynamics make that display bridge the gap between everyday digital screens and tangible reality. Since the fluid behaves in an unpredictable way, it is possible to give the bodies perceived in the ferrolic display a strong reference to living creatures. The livelihood enables ferrolic to show a meaningful narrative that appears like the bodies forming the digital displays are playing tag. In addition to the material's natural flow, ferrolic can be used to form recognizable shapes and written characters. This is done using both information layers for displaying scenes and transitions in a poetic, almost dance-like choreographed way. The user is able to edit these electromagnets through open software for displaying text, shapes, transitions, along with showing the time, of course. The ferrolic clock doesn't produce any light and is completely silent. This device is still in development, but is expected to be publicly available in the near future. Phase 2 flight tests were just completed under DARPA's Fast Lightweight Autonomy Program. The results featured advanced algorithms that can turn ground and air systems into cooperative devices. Together, they can autonomously perform tasks that are too dangerous for human operators. For instance, the machines could conduct pre-mission reconnaissance in hostile environments, or search for disaster survivors within unstable structures. During this phase of testing, MIT and Draper Laboratories were able to reduce the number of onboard sensors. This made the air vehicle lighter in order to withstand higher speeds. The systems could also build a geographic and semantic map as it flew in an urban environment. Neural networks were the key, helping the onboard computers recognize obstacles while also providing a clickable image. The human members could then download the map and its corresponding images after the mission was completed. Next, the teams will try to pack more computation onto smaller platforms. As the Internet of Things, or IoT, continues to grow, millions of devices will be connected to the Internet, transmitting information about their environment. In an effort to expand IoT into more everyday objects like furniture, office supplies, and buildings, researchers at Purdue University and the University of Virginia have developed a new way of producing electronic stickers. Currently, electronic circuits are built on their own rigid silicon wafer and requires high heat and chemical etching to remove the circuit, rendering the silicon wafer useless. But the new method, called transfer printing, enables a single wafer to produce a nearly infinite number of thin film electronic circuits because they can be peeled off the wafer under plain old water. When applied to a device, the electronic sticker allows objects to sense their surroundings or be controlled wirelessly. The team expects the electronic stickers to have a myriad of uses and applications across several industries, ranging from drones to biomedical devices. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and cast past episodes at wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Jennifer Hooker. Thanks for watching.